Hello everyone, I'm Arlene Brun from Tarlac State University College of Nursing from BSN 1B. So before anything else, um, don't forget to wear your face mask. And I just want to show you my nails. Yan. You should keep them short. The purpose of hand washing. To reduce the number of microorganisms on the hand. Second, to reduce the risk of microorganisms to the client. Three is to reduce the cross-contamination among the client. And to reduce the risk of transmission of infectious organism to oneself. Assessment Determine the clients. Presence of factors increasing the susceptibility to infections and possibility of undiagnosed infection, for example, HIV. Use a immunosuppressive medication. Recent diagnostic procedures or treatments that penetrated body or skin cavity. And then current nutritional status. So planning. The location of running water and soap substitutes. Assemble the equipment. The soap, warm water, and the disposable or sanitized or sanitize towel or paper towel. Implementation. Preparation. Assess the hand. Nails should be kept short. Remove all the jewelries. And then check your hand if there is a break of the skin or cuts or hangnails. And then performance. If you're going to wash your hand, um, your client will observe you. And introduce yourself to your client and explain to your client what you're doing and why it is necessary. Turn on the water and adjust the flow. And the water is warm. And then, um, we have a five common types of faucet control. We have a hand-operated handle, knee levers, um, foot pedals, and bow control and infrared control. And then, after that, wet the hand and wrist. Hold the hand lower than the elbow. And then after that, apply soap. Thoroughly wash and rinse the hand. Use a firm rubbing and circular movement of a wash palm and then back and, and the wrist and the hand. And be sure to include the heel of the hand. And then, don't forget to interlace the finger. And then, the thumb. And then the WHO recommended this is step right palm over the left dorsum with interlaced finger and vice versa. And after that, back of the finger to opposing the interlocking or interlock. And then after that, Rotational rubbing to the left thumb plus in the palm, in the right palm rather, and then vice versa. Continue this motion for at least 30 seconds. And then after that, rub the fingertips against the palm of the opposite hand.
And then after that, rinse the hand. Then after that, thoroughly the dry hand and arms, use a paper towel. Do not rub when you put the paper towel into your hand and arm. And then after that, paper towel to off the hand operated hose. Then after that, um, discard the paper towel into the appropriate container. Variation Hand washing before sterile skills. Wet the scrub brush and apply a liberal amount of antimicrobial soap into your hand. And lather well to 2 inches above. But hold the hands higher than the elbow during this hand wash. Let water run from the fingertips to the elbow so that the hands become cleaner than the elbows. Using a circular motion, scrub all the surface of one hand and arm. Start at the fingers, scrub at least 10 stroke each on nail. And all sides the finger and both sides of hand. Scrub the hand using the 10 strokes each of the lower, middle, and upper areas of forearms. Keep the arms higher than the elbow. And then rinse the surgical brush. And reapply antimicrobial soap. Repeat the scrub on the second hand. Normally, the scrub takes at least two to six minutes. After that, wash and rinse it. Use a towel for the first hand. Thoroughly in a rotating motion from the fingers 
to the elbow. Use a new towel again to the second hand and arm. Apply sterile gloves before touching any unsterile items. Evaluation. Ensure that both hands are clean and dry. The purpose of donning and removing sterile gloves open method. To enable to handle or touch sterile gloves, Freely without contaminating them. Second, um, to prevent the transmission of potentially infective um, organism from the nurse hand to uh, the client's high at risk. And then we have assessment. Review the client record and um, orders to determine the exactly what procedure will be performed that required sterile gloves. And then check the client record and ask about latex allergies. Use non-latex allergies whenever possible. And then planning. Think through the procedures, plans, and steps need to complete it before applying sterile the gloves or applying the gloves and then determine what additional materials needed and have an extra pair of gloves available and then assemble equipment um, packages of um, sterile gloves and then we have a implementation um, preparation um, determine the the correct size of the gloves. Make sure that the gloves is snug, not too tight. And then, ensure sterility of the package of sterile gloves. And then, performance. Prior to performing the procedure, introduce yourself to your client and then explain what you're going to do and why it is necessary and how the client can cooperate. And then, perform hand hygiene and observe other appropriate infection control the procedure. And then, provide for the client privacy. So, sterile latex gloves. Um, first, make sure if it, if it is sealed side by side. And then, check the sterility of the sterile gloves. 20-25 and then before you uh, buy uh, buy some gloves you should know your size and we have a three size of gloves small medium and large and this is 7.5 size So sanitize our hand first to remove all the microorganism. Then after that, let's proceed. Open the outer wrapper and place the inner gloves package on a clean, dry surface. And then, open the inner glove package. Open the inner glove package. And then, carefully open the flaps of the package so that they do not fold back.
put the first blob on the dominant hand and this is it and grabs the inner surface of the glove for the dominant hand by lifting the folded cup edge and first finger using the non-dominant hand so there is she and after that put the uh, second gloves into your second hand be careful lift the gloves up and away from the table and from your body and then slide the non-dominant hand into the gloves and being careful to avoid contact with your gloves to your glove hand. Slide your non-dominant hand into the glove, being careful to avoid contacting with your glove hand. And then, adjust both gloves and feet to your fingers if necessary and pull the uh, fingers of the gloves down so that no excess at the fingertips. And then, keep your hand between the shoulder and waist level in front of you. Um, and then after that is remove and dispose, use the gloves. And there is no a special technique for the removing sterile gloves. If they are soiled with uh, secretions and remove them by turning them inside and out. And then perform hand hygiene. I'll show you and how to remove these gloves. And then after that, perform a hand hygiene. Document that sterile technique was used in the performance of the procedure. So the evaluation of this is to conduct any follow-up indicated uh, during your care of the client and ensure the adequate numbers and types of sterile supplies are available for the next healthcare provider. Running a sterile gown and gloves close method. So the purpose of this is to enable or enable to to work to the sterile field and handle sterile objects freely and to protect the client for becoming contaminated and um, with microorganism on the nurse hand and arms and clothing. So assessment. Review the client records and um, order to determine the exactly what procedure will be performed and require sterile gloves. And then check the client's record if it is um, um, she or he had a latex allergy. And you can use a non-latex allergy or non-latex glove whenever possible. And then planning. Uh, planning on um, think through the procedure and plan which um, step need to be and completed before applying the gloves and then um, determine what additional materials needed to your um, procedure and then um, have an extra pair of gloves available and then assemble equipment a sterile pack of containing a sterile gown and a sterile gloves and then we have implementation. Um, ensure the sterility of the gown and um, package of the gloves. And then performance. 
um, prior the procedure, um, introduce yourself to your client and then verify client identity. And then explain what you're going to do and why it is necessary and how um, how the client can cooperate to you. And then perform hand hygiene and observe um, other uh, appropriate um, appropriate infection control procedure and then we have a um, provide client privacy so dining a sterile gown and gloves close method so before anything else sanitize our hand first to remove all the microorganism Then after that, applying a sterile gown. Open the package of sterile gloves. Remove the outer rock from the sterile gloves and leave the gloves in their inner sterile rock on the sterile feet. Unwrap the sterile gown pack and perform hand hygiene. And then put a sterile gown. And then be careful not to touch the outer surface of this. And then, um, Put the hand inside the shoulder of the gown and work the arm party way into the gloves without touching the any outside of the, the gown. Keep the sleeves of the gown above the waist level. And then work the hand down the sleeves only to the proximal edge of the outfit. Have a co-worker grasp the the neckties without touching the outside of the gown and pull the gown upward to cover the neckline of your uniform so proceed to dining sterile gloves close method so open the sterile wrapper containing the sterile gloves So be careful not to touch the skin, the inner surface of this to avoid contamination. The sterile gloves is also the same on the first um, duffing method. This is 7.5 also. And then the sterility of this is 2025. And then open, open the sterile glove wrapper while the hands are still covered by these sleeves. And make sure it is upward. Put the glove on the dominant hand. And then... Be careful when you open it to, to avoid the contamination. And then... Place the finger of the gloves and hand under the cuff of the remaining glove. Place the glove over the cuff of the second sleeve. And 
and then hold this extend the finger into the gloves as you pull the glove up over the cuff Make sure it is fit to you and no excess. And then after that, the second hand. Be careful to avoid any contamination. When the worn sterile gown should be considered sterile in front of the waist to the shoulder, the sleeve should be considered sterile from 2 inches above the elbow to the cuff. And since the arms of a scrub person must move across the sterile field, there is no special technique for the removal of the sterile attire. And then make sure there is no excess of the finger. And then, if appropriate document that sterile technique was used in the performance of the procedure. And then the evaluation is to conduct any follow-up indicated during your care of the client and um, ensure the that adequate numbers and types of sterile supplies are available for the next healthcare work provider. Then after that, remove the gloves. Because there is no special technique by removing the gloves. And after that, don't forget to hand sanitize. 